Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss? Where today I want to take a look at the next live action Star Wars series being produced by Disney, titled The Acolyte, and go over everything we know so far, including what the plot of the series will be, who will be starring in it, and what connections it will have to the greater Star Wars universe. This is a series that I am very excited for, especially after the success of the series Andor. Now I want to clarify that I am not one of those people that think that Andor is the best thing to ever happen to Star Wars. I think that there have been some good episodes, but I would not say that it is my favorite series so far that Disney and Star Wars have produced, due mainly to its pacing. But I do agree that it is successful in depicting a new perspective of this universe by showing the audience the beginnings of the Rebel Alliance. The Acolyte looks like it will also be showing the audience a different perspective within this universe, however in this case, it will be from the viewpoint of the Sith. It is believed during this time in the Star Wars timeline that the Sith have been defeated and that there are none left in the galaxy, so the series will show how the Sith found each other and rose to power, similar to how Andor is showing how all the rebel factions banded together into one alliance. Another thing that has me excited for the series is that it will be set in a time before anything else we have seen in live action, as these events will take place around 100 years before the film The Phantom Menace during a time that is known as the High Republic Era, when the Jedi are supposed to be at their highest point of power and agency. So in this video, I will go over every detail so far that we know, including a first look at the series and a cast list that was released recently. But first, I want to thank you for clicking on this video, and ask that if you do enjoy it and find it informative, to please hit the like and subscribe buttons to help my channel grow. The official synopsis of The Acolyte is as follows. The Acolyte is a mystery thriller that will take viewers into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. A former Padawan reunites with her Jedi Master to investigate a series of crimes, but the forces they confront are more sinister than they ever anticipated. Along with this synopsis, a cast list as well as a first look of the series was released, and in this picture, we can see actress Amanda Stenberg and actor Lee Jung Jae, along with the series creator Leslie Headland. These two actors are billed as the main characters of the series, and are probably the two characters mentioned in the synopsis. Various other outlets online are reporting that the beginning of the series will feature a time jump that will first show a child being taken in by the Jedi after they save her village from an attack. The child will then return later on as a teen or adult to see that her family was killed in another attack while she was gone that the Jedi did not prevent and then will be disillusioned by her time with the Jedi which will force her to leave the Order. As far as the rest of the characters, there are many young actors in this cast such as Daphne Keene, who many will remember from the film Logan, as well as Dean Charles Chapman, who played the ill-fated Tommen Baratheon on Game of Thrones. Most of these younger actors will almost definitely be other Dark Side Force users that are training to become the next Sith Apprentice. Unlike the Jedi, which have great numbers especially at this point in history, there are always only two Sith operating at one time, a Master and an Apprentice. Always two there are. No more. No less. Which means that these young characters will be trying to become more powerful by killing not only Jedi, but the other Dark Side users around them. Many Star Wars fans will remember that the only Sith we know about that lived before the events of the Phantom Menace was a character named Darth Plagueis, because of what Palpatine said to Anakin Skywalker. Do you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the White? I think that this character will be a central point of the series at some point, and could possibly end up being one of the young male characters listed in the cast list. However, I don't think they will reveal this character early in the series for reasons that I will touch on in a bit. Another actress that was just added to the cast is Carrie Ann Moss, who is best known as Trinity from the Matrix franchise. I would not at all be surprised if she is playing the Sith Master during this time period and is the one trying to find a new apprentice. Series creator Leslie Headland is known for writing strong female characters, and originally, Disney announced that she would be helming a female-centric Star Wars series, so it would make sense to have a great actress like Carrie Ann Moss play the main villain of the series, especially since she is known best for playing a good character in the Matrix. Aside from the casting of the series, I am most excited to see what the show will look like when it is finished. It has been reported that the Acolyte is being filmed using both the volume, which are the large indoor sets that depend on digital technology, along with practical sets and effects. While The Mandalorian is a visually stunning series, some critics complained that it was too grandiose and wanted to see a more realistic version of this universe, since the original trilogy was known for its use of practical events that became legendary, which is why the series Andor was filmed using more actual filming locations than any of the other Disney Star Wars series filmed before it. The Acolyte will reportedly try to balance this equation since the aesthetic of this time period should be closest to what we saw in The Phantom Menace, with a lot of shiny ships and new technology. Again, this is the first time this time period will be on screen, which means that we should see a lot of brand new concepts as well. The Acolyte began filming in October of 2022, which means that there is a good chance that it will be released by the end of 2023. The next seasons of The Mandalorian, as well as the animated series The Bad Batch, 
will also be released in this year, as well as the new series Ahsoka, starring Rosario Dawson. If I had to guess, I would say that the Acolyte will be released after the Ahsoka series, around November of 2023. One thing that may prevent the first season of the Acolyte from being released in 2023 is that the second season of Andor is also filming now, and Disney may end up releasing that first since the show has been such a hit with critics. Andor will be ending after its second season, as it was always written to lead right into the events of the film Rogue One, similar to how that film leads directly into the events of the film A New Hope. Andor has not been as big a hit with fans though, so it really could go either way. I have not been this excited for a series in the Star Wars universe since the announcement of The Mandalorian, because this will be the first time that we get to see the High Republic era of the Star Wars universe as well as the beginnings of the Sith Order. Not since The Phantom Menace was released have the producers of any Star Wars story had the freedom to create new inciting things like this that have never been seen before. It will also be very interesting to see how the hubris of the Jedi led to their downfall and allowed Darth Sidious to rise to power and eventually all but wipe out the Jedi Order. Speaking of Darth Sidious, I would all but guarantee that we will meet a younger version of Palpatine before the end of this series. While the Acolyte does begin around 100 years before The Phantom Menace, there is already one time jump in the first few episodes that we know about, so this could mean that the series will take place over many decades leading up to the rise of Darth Sidious. I am not sure how many seasons the series is planned for, but we know that before we meet Darth Sidious, we will have to meet his master, Darth Plagueis which means that once the series is released, everyone will have their own theories on which character will turn into the dark side master that trains Palpatine. Which includes me, so make sure that you are subscribed because as I said, this is a series that I am very enthusiastic about. So whenever any news or trailers are released, I will have them for you here. Well that is all I have for you for this story, but let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you very much for watching this video, please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?